Good morning, Bob. Hi, Bob. Bob. Hey, good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you? Well, I know you're not Kathleen. Uh, you're with Cypress Home uh, Care Solutions, and you have been nominated for one of those uh, Torch Awards. And of I course, have. That's from the uh, Better Business Bureau, the Ethics Award, coming up on May 15th. I think I pretty much know why you've been nominated for that. Tell us what you do. You you help people stay in the kind of lifestyle they want, no matter what their age. Yeah, Ken, thank you. Uh, we've been doing this. Uh, April 28th starts our 25th year, and uh, we have the uh, the fortunate privilege of helping our older adults be able to stay at home and be as independent as they can be uh, by enabling them to do so by giving them, or, or should I say, uh, giving them the opportunity to have caregivers that come into the home. And I liken our caregivers to being more like surrogate sons and daughters. And what they do is they assist those that need some assistance with activities of daily living. And those activities of daily living can be getting dressed in the morning, uh, preparing meals, driving them to appointments, um, to bathing and maybe even assisting them to go toileting. Um, and more importantly, it's companionship. You know, gentlemen, this is a really unknown statistic. Nearly one-third of our population, 65 and older, lives home alone. And they do not have that social interaction that many of us are accustomed to getting every day. And, and having that companionship and somebody there to assist them with their daily activities of living are crucial. So uh, we have been bestowed this honor to uh, be a finalist in the Better Business Bureau's Business Ethics Award. We won this in 2013. They give you a mandatory five-year hiatus, so you're not allowed to win the award five years in between. So this was our first year that we were able to make application again, and we're privileged once again to be a finalist. And I, I got to tell you, gentlemen, I don't feel like I'm just representing Cypress Home Care. In the entire existence of this Business Ethics Award, no home care agency has ever been nominated as a finalist, let alone has won it. And the fact that we've won it, I feel like I'm representing all the home care agencies out there that are really making a difference in people's lives. And the people that we're really looking to serve is we're looking to serve and assist those family members that are making that ultimate sacrifice in helping and assisting older adults staying at home. And, you know, that can be a spouse, that could be an adult child. So to be able to give them the relief that they need so they can be a better caregiver is crucial. So one statistic that many people don't realize is that couples caring for one another, 65 and older, without assistance from anyone else, 63% of the time, and this is a statistic from AARP, 63% of the time, the caregiver predeceases the care recipient. So the services that we do are, are crucial. We are an aging demographic. We are aging at such a rapid rate. We all know the statistic, 10,000 a day, 3.6 million a year. And um, I just feel a privilege and honor to be recognized for the work that we do at Cypress Home Care Solutions but more importantly, as I said, for all the home care agencies that are helping make a difference in people's lives. Excellent. Bob, you, you put it uh, so succinctly at the beginning, as you always do. It's like having a brother, a brother, sister, or parent, or somebody you know in the family there, uh, just kind of keeping you company and doing those things that need to be done each and every day. And also, Bob, I guess uh, I'll go ahead and make plans to talk with you five years from now when you get nominated again. How's that? <laughs> hey, let's. Hey, listen, Ken, can I, can I uh, give a tease for my show today? Sure can. So uh, uh, everybody out there at Money Radio, you probably recognize, recognize my voice and my name. I, I host a show. We're in our fifth year. We're on at 12 o'clock every single Friday from 12 to 1. It's called Health Futures, Taking Stock in You. I have two extraordinary guests on the show today. One is a gentleman by the name of Steve Wagner. He's the founder and CEO of Right Care Foundation. He is also a first responder with Phoenix Fire. He's worked with them for 15 years. I also have Michelle Just. She is the president and CEO of an incredible continuing retire, um, retirement community that is located in central Phoenix called Beatitudes Campus. 
and the two of us are going to be talking about the the initiative that Right Care Foundation has taken. And basically what Right Care Foundation does is they teach people in the communities how to perform CPR. So basically we're going to talk about before the fire truck arrives, it's more than CPR, it's keeping the brain alive along with the pulse so that we can save lives. Sounds like so a good show. In, yeah. Tune in today at noon. All right. Bob, again, congratulations on your Torch Award finalist uh, nomination there with uh, Cypress Home Care Solutions. Bob Roth, thank you. Hey, thank you, guys. Have a great day. Make it a great weekend. Bye-bye.